Hi students, we are discussing the topic of cross-border alliances and in that we are going to discuss about merger and acquisitions and how do we define them. Merger and acquisitions are one of the most uh, common form of international business market. Uh, they have seen a tremendous growth over the last few decades because of the reason of globalization. Uh, why do organizations go for merger and acquisition? Why don't they go for establishing an entire new firm in the local market of the new country? Uh, that's because it is difficult to enter the local market of an entirely new culture of a new country and it is difficult to establish an organization from scratch, particularly in a new environment. Uh, so um, merger or acquisition, which means taking over in the local market, um, merging with them or acquiring them, that is a means of rapid entry into the local market of the new country. That is why organizations, they go for mergers and acquisitions rather than setting up the organization from scratch. Therefore, it is one of the most predominant form of uh, um, international business systems. According to United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, cross-border mergers and alliances are defined as cross-border M&As involve partial or full takeover or the merging of capital, assets and liabilities of existing enterprises in a country by TNCs, which means transnational corporations, from other countries. All right. So mergers and acquisitions are usually defined and taken as one similar concept. There are different concepts. So either there is full takeover of assets, um, liabilities, and um, existing enterprises, or there is partial takeover. So full takeover is acquiring and partial takeover is merger. So it involves purchase of existing assets and companies. Uh, so whatever the existing assets and liabilities of the company there are, they are purchased or acquired by the, uh, by the uh, multinational which is trying to enter the new market in a new country. Now what is the difference between merger and acquisition? Uh, merger is the result of an agreement between two companies to join their operations together. And partners, they are often equal and it results in formation of a new company. So merger mein ye hota hai ke basically multinational company bahir se uh, enter hona chaati hai lekin jo existing company hai uske high stakes hote hai local market ke andar uh, they are not ready to give up their entire uh, you know their, their entire entity in the local market sometimes ye bhi hota hai ke already exist kar hi hote hai do companies ek hi market ke andar uh, do multinationals exist kar rahe hote and they merge together to achieve more strategic objectives. For example, recently you must have heard about the merger of Varid and Mobilink and now that, that company is called Jazz uh, Varid. It has become an entirely new company with a new name and a new brand. And uh, although keeping uh, you know, some features of the old brand as well, but the company is a new one. So that is merger between two equal partners. Uh, they uh, merge together to form a new organization, a new company. And partners are often equal. Now acquisition is a little bit different from mergers. And acquisition occurs when one company 
buys another company with the interest of controlling the activities of the combined operations so acquisition mein kya hota hai ke ek larger uh, stronger multinational uh, bahar se local market mein enter hona chahti hai aur kisi choti local firm ko acquire kar leti hai which means it buys the entire organization and it uh, buys the entire organization with the interest of controlling the uh, the activities of the combined uh, operations so uh, when the uh, merging firm like the acquiring firm it acquires a company it takes the entire control of that whereas in merger they are equal partners they take control together whereas the acquiring firm uh takes the control of the company which is being acquired uh in a merger two companies form together to uh make a third new company whereas in acquisition the acquiring company keeps its legal entity and integrates a new company into its activities so in acquisition a smaller firm usually a weaker firm from the local market is acquired and becomes a part of the acquiring company uh, you must have heard the um, acquisition of uh, polka by walls which was a subsidiary of unilever so when walls took over polka polka uh, stopped operating whereas walls did not lose its name or its entity it was then called walls in pakistan as well whereas you may remember that uh, polka was the main uh, ice cream seller in pakistan but when walls came then polka there was no polka at all so uh, it completely wiped off uh, wiped off the smaller firm so that is an example of acquisition you can see in this slide that in merger company a and company b they form together to make a new company c and because we are concerned with human resource management in the international context we would be concerned when we are talking about mergers there would be intra merger hr challenges how the two companies come together how do they form the hr strategies by working together and on the other hand you can see that in acquisition company a and company b they come together and company a buys company b and b is then no more the company a is the acquiring firm which will remain existent and b will lose its entity and in that we will have intra acquisition hr challenges both of them are taken almost in the same way therefore in the next topics we are going to talk about mergers and acquisitions m and a's we will call mergers and acquisition with the acronym of m and a's so that was the definition of merger and acquisition and how do they differ from each other